we'll get started. First question, Kaylee Griffin. Hey, Jay Sean, I know uh, this is probably the closest thing to a coming home game for you in the NBA. I know with the protocols, you're not really able to do much, but is there any extra motivation to, to have a, a good game here tonight being back at Ohio? And I know Cleveland is allowing fans. Are you going to have anybody in the stands for you tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a motivation. One, just because we just need to get off this losing streak. Um, you know, we, we're facing... Uh, Cavs, they just got there off there uh, losing sleep streak last night, so they'll be riled up, and um, it's just a good opportunity to get this bad taste out of our mouth. So, um, about people coming to the game, yeah, I have a couple family members that have bought tickets, um, but you know, with the COVID guidelines, I won't be able to really see them. But um, it'll be pretty cool for them to be able to see me in an NBA uniform. Mark Berman. Jay Sean, what has it been like for you to kind of have to watch the business of basketball? You obviously watched before you long before you came here, you watched DeMarcus play, got a chance to be his teammate. Now he's had to move on. It's the business of the game. What has it been like for you to, to watch that unfold? Yeah, um, I think um, you know, being overseas um my first couple of years, like I've already, you know, kind of uh, was introduced to it, but um, with that, it's it's still pretty cool to just build those relationships. Even, you know, you never know how long you're going to be with somebody. Um, but, you know, uh, that's that's the thing about this uh, this sport. Like, the, the basketball world is really so small. So um, everybody knows everybody. Everybody um, gets to, you know, be on teams with everybody or know somebody that uh, was on a team with. So I would just say just being able to form those relationships, um, and, you know, DeMarcus was a, a great vet for me. Um, and um, I'm going to be following and good luck to him. Did you pick his brain at all? Get some tidbits to, to kind of yeah. help you a little bit? I mean, definitely. I mean, he's helped me through um, day one, just being, you know, one of those vocal leaders, um, those vocal guys in the locker room, um, just telling me little tips and bit, bits about, you know, being a rookie and how to how to go about things. And um, now nah, he, he definitely helped me. With his time here, Jonathan Fagan. Hi, Jay Sean. Uh, just going back to Kaylee's question. Obviously, your friends and family, fans, Ohio State fans, could follow you without the game being in Cleveland. But to be back there at a time that you are producing and playing as regularly as you are, what does that mean to you as you play in, in Cleveland tonight? Yeah, um, getting off the plane, it was definitely like a little breath of fresh air, some Ohio air. <laughs> but um yeah, like I'm I'm still just approaching, you know, every every game like like I've been approaching it. Um, and right now my mindset is just try to get this bad taste out of our mouth. You know, we we've shown that we can be a, a on both both ends of the spectrum, whether it's winning a few in a row and losing a few in a row. So we just uh gotta figure it out, man, because um I mean, that, at the end of the day, that's what we all, everybody wants to do. We want to win. So the Ohio air, you got to feel a little winter here last week. Yeah, yeah. You, you like, all right, I, this is fine? Uh, oh, yeah. The was, stuff uh, that came with it, but just the cold was okay with you? Yeah, the cold was fine. Uh, it, it definitely uh, got got chilly there in, in Houston, but that's a regular Tuesday in Ohio. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get used to it. Okay, kind of going off of what you were saying there, Jay Sean, in terms of ending the losing streak, Coach Silas talked yesterday about the mindset of the group and the attitude, and he said, of course, naturally it's a little down right now. Mm -hmm. What happens when you're on a losing streak? How would you assess where the, the mindset and attitude of this team is this morning? Yeah, um, I think guys are, like, we're all on the you know same page and, you know, the, the fact that we know that we just got to get this bad taste out of our mouth. Know, it's never as bad or as, as good as it seems. You know, we 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 rode a high. Right now, we're riding a low, but um, we just got to get ourselves out of this little slump. And, you know, there's still a lot of basketball to be played, and um, you know, our whole mindset is just to you know get that kick started tonight. Spencer Davies. Spencer Davies, basketballnews.com. Jay Sean, I'm also in Ohio, so I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> um, 
when it comes to playing small ball, how is that going to kind of help you considering that you kind of have a strength in that area, making plays when you're, you have your bas- back to the basket, uh, mm-hmm. you know, being able to, to get into the right spots and kind of, um, you know, tell everybody, you know, the spots to get to where, mm-hmm. you know, you're getting them, you know, the ball and stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been like a small ball center since, you know, I was – at Ohio State, so um, I, I've been comfortable um, my whole life, you know, being undersized, but having to play that position, and um, you know, it works. Uh, our communication still needs to improve. Um, that's one thing we've been, you know, trying to work on. And with that, um, I think that our defense will, you know, do what it needs to do. Our, our whole my, our whole goal is to just get out to a great start. Um, our starts need to be need to improve and uh, on both ends, and I, I feel like you know offense is always predicated on defense, and um, you know right now we're kind of wounded um, and, and 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 skim at the the big man position. So um, small ball is going to be important. How can that come to your at your advantage against certain teams? Obviously, it's going to be a um, matchup based thing, but yeah, because you know we got to guard them on on one end, but um, they got to turn around and guard us. And, you know, when you got smaller guys out there um, who are getting guarded by bigger guys, they just, it, it, it causes, uh, you know, a discomfort for them. They have to come out more in the wing and they have to move, you know, laterally. And um, sometimes, depending on the guy, it's just hard for them to stay in front of smaller, smaller guys on the offensive end. Thank you, Jay Sean. We appreciate your time. Thank you. You guys have a good day. You too.